Tiger Woods withdrew from the Masters due to pain in the bottom of his heel caused by plantar fasciitis. Don't be like Tiger Woods. Discover the secrets to overcoming this foot condition and get back to the joy of golfing again without pain. Plantar fasciitis is a really painful condition. It is a dense connective tissue that originates from the bottom of the heel and extends into the toes to help create support and stability throughout the foot. Plantar fascia pain usually occurs when there is a spike in activity where you're doing too much too soon and the body can't handle the stress such as swinging the golf club or walking 18 holes. Some common symptoms golfers experience are pain within the first few steps in the morning like you're stepping on shards of glass, pain with prolonged activities such as walking or standing too long, which are common things we do on the golf course, and lastly, pain that could return after prolonged periods of inactivity such as sitting for an extended amount of time. Let's head into the golf lab to understand why you might be struggling with this issue. So welcome to our golf lab. Okay, what we're going to talk about is three main areas that you need to assess to get a true understanding as to why the bottom side of your foot hurts. The first one is your big toe. People always ask, why would you check the big toe? Well, your plantar fascia actually originates from the bottom side of your heel and extends all the way up and attaches into your toes. Okay, so if your big toe or your toes in general aren't extending well, then what happens is it can create more stress on the bottom side of your heel. Okay, again, like we talked about, your plantar fascia is a thick, dense, connective tissue. So if some of the areas that attach to aren't moving well, it can create more stress in that area. Okay, number two is your ankle. If your ankle is stiff or tight, well, think of it this way. Your calf and your Achilles all attached to the bottom side of your heel as well. So if your ankle is stiff, then sometimes it can create, again, more stress on the bottom side of your foot. And then lastly, there's a small muscle called your posterior tibialis, which runs along the inside part of your shin bone. Okay, and that muscle runs along the end part of your shin bone and attaches into the bottom side of your heel. So again, that could be a, a source of why you're having some discomfort as well. Also, additionally, there's a nerve that runs alongside that muscle too. So if that nerve is irritated or sensitive, it can then continue to contribute to more discomfort in the bottom side of your foot. So those three things that we want to look at, your big toe, your ankle, and the inside part of your shin bone. If those three, if any of those areas are kind of irritated or sensitive, it could be causing your symptoms in the bottom of your foot. The key is to find the source of the issue and not just treat the symptoms. With that being said, let's get to the exercises to help get that heel under control. The first exercise is a double leg heel raise with a slow lower. Use the bottom of your staircase or a step slow to do this. The ball of your foot will be on the step and the key to this is being able to slowly lower yourself back to the start position and have your heel extend past the step as far as possible. This will help strengthen not only your calf but also the bottom of your foot. The second exercise is a reverse big toe walk. What we're trying to do with this one is get the big toe to extend to help lengthen out and build better stress tolerance to the arch and bottom of the foot. The slower the better as you shift your weight from your toes to your heel. This not only helps improve strength in the bottom of the foot, but also through the calf and Achilles as well. The last exercise is a kettlebell swap. Use a light weight, stand on one leg with the knee slightly bent, and swap the weight from side to side to challenge your balance. This also helps strengthen up the bottom of your foot to help control the inward and outward motion of the foot to help build better stability through your arch. Resting, taking medication, and waiting for your heel pain to go away is likely to leave you more frustrated and desperate for a quick fix. It is not a long-term solution. Plantar fasciitis takes consistent effort and work to help build that tissue back up, reduce your pain, so you can get back to doing what you love, which is playing golf. You need to find a healthcare provider that understands foot and ankle issues and golf-related issues so they can help you get back and dominate on the golf course. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about golf-related issues and what body parts golfers struggle with on the golf course, make sure you check out these videos here.